welcome to the BST4 channel. We know what's going on, what's happening, man. Without further ado, we're just gonna go jump right into it. We're gonna be talking about this trans connector here. This is a must have. If you're dealing with a broken line or a rusty line, like I was dealing with a rusty line, that this thing clearly snapped off in it, do not try to stick anything in there. It's done, finished, finito. You just go ahead and you go and replace this item here. And you gotta use this special tool. Now, you have to buy that tool and you have to buy this and you have to replace that. Now, I didn't do it the right way. So let's go ahead and show you what I have done to get it to this point here. The items you're gonna need, you're going to need these. Now the most important items when you're doing this type of job here on your F-150 or any of your Ford trucks down to the Expedition, you're going to need this here. This is the secret sauce right here, this thing here. Um, the part number is right there, as you guys can see it. You make sure you get that part number there, you need that. And then the extra special sauce is this item here. This item normally rusts out and you can't even fit anything inside of it you're going to need a 1 and 1 16th to take off that situation right off of the radiator. Most important part there. Really, really it. All right, man, the trans line that I ordered was the wrong one or they sent me the wrong one. I gave them everything. I told them it was the lower rad situation. Sent me the wrong one. It was totally the wrong size. So what I'm going to be doing is cut the line here. The other line kind of fits underneath snug, you know, not snug, but fits underneath there. And then I'm going to order the right one. And when I'm ready, I can go ahead and put them on. But right now I need to get back on the road. So this is the reason why I'm doing it this way. Not the proper way to do it, but you guys kind of got the gist of what you're up against. Make sure you order the right trans line. You gotta, you gotta get that tool. That tool is a must. Gotta remember to get that tool. This thing here, gold. You know what I mean? If you got newer Fords, I don't know if it works on that, but you know, basically all the trucks, SUVs, the lines are gonna be like that. If yours is old and rusty, you gotta get that. Then, I did put in the wrong line, right? But what we did, we have created our own line. I ain't got no time to, that's the thing that's, that sucks when you go order things online you get the wrong part you kind of stuck you already waited five days six days seven days and then got to do the return slip and all of that stuff i was like nah we're gonna work with it like this so we have put that line on there not for nothing it is the wrong trans line i ordered now you don't have to do this don't do this at all but if you're in a bind you can still wiggle your way around it if you still have a good trans line to work with so man, thank you guys for watching this episode of Build Something TV. It was just for the Ford truck guys who kind of dealing with this situation. Most of you guys have dealt with this situation before, but me, I looked at this, I was like, man, I was real new to this because you know, I don't really do trucks that much. But also here, I am also doing the calipers. It has a little shimmy, the brakes are sticking. More likely it was the hose, but I changed the caliper also so now i'm just going to put the tire back on and get the car running get the truck running <laughs> and see what we got going on man so we'll check you guys out on the flip side but oh let me show you something real quick about my ford maverick yeah i am putting uh electric seats in there um i'll keep you guys up to speed on the next video i'm not going to show you how to do it because it's pretty simple it's just a headache to get the seat lined up and all of this stuff but it does work it just need a lot of like wire to deal with that's just basically it so we'll talk more about that on the next video see you guys on the flip side